Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Black Cat Tarot Deck. So this is a tarot deck by, I always have to read her name out because <laughs> it's a long name, uh, Helena Isabel Isidro de Almeida. Almeida. All right, so let's have a look. This deck comes in a nice cardboard box. It's nice and glossy and the card backs are super, super cute. And you might know this about me, but I have a black cat and I love black cats. All right, so um, I like the size of the cards. They kind of remind me a little bit like an Oracle deck, like they're a little bit wider than most of my tarot decks, which I like. So I guess what I'll do, um, I guess I'll start by talking about the card stock. So card stock, I would say it's kind of a standard card stock. It's not particularly thick, but not it's not super thin either. And the finish is kind of um, something between, it's not glossy, it's kind of matte, something in between. Okay, so I'm going to go through this deck and let you have a look at these cards so you get kind of a, uh, a feel for them. Now, unfortunately, they're not in order because <laughs> I just did a reading with them, so they're kind of out of order. Um, but you'll, you'll get to see each card. So it, all the cards have like the same sort of color scheme, the same color scheme. And um, I just think these cards are super cute. And I'll do a reading at the end, just so you can see how this deck is to work with and, and how it reads. I used it for my weekly tarot reading this week, and um, it's actually a very easy deck to read with. And I should mention that um, there's sort of gold. I don't know if you can really see it very well in the video, but there's like gilded. The borders are, are gold. There might be a lot of noise in the background of my video. I've got one neighbor who has been using his chainsaw off and on, and there's a house being built not too far from me, so there's a lot of hammering and stuff like that. <laughs> I was trying to, oh, I love this card. This is beautiful. I like that one, Queen of Cups. There's just something so adorable and mysterious about black cats, and uh, so I love that, that this has been the, the theme of this deck. I have a lot of cat decks, um, but I don't have any decks that focus solely on black cats, so. So the artwork is very, um, I would call it like, it's very simple. These cards aren't busy, which I like. Uh, and they all have kind of the same color scheme as well. So there's definitely kind of a theme with that goes through all the cards. This one's kind of cute. I like this one too. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's all these little black eyes or little, little glowing eyes in the darkness. I like this one. This one's cute. This deck actually, it kind of reminds me of like a black and white deck, but there is this sort of, I don't know what you call it, kind of an ochre yellowy color.
I think this deck would actually be good for beginners because the the card imagery and the symbols stick fairly close to, you know, a basic rider weight deck. So right out the gate, I actually did find this deck really easy to read and work with. I'm looking forward to getting to know this deck a little more. I've only done one reading with it so far for my weekly reading, and I was really impressed with how easy the cards were to read. So we'll see when at the end, once I've finished going through all the cards, we'll see how, how a second reading is with this deck. The star. The star is one of those cards that I always am always excited to see how an artist portrays it in their deck because it's one of my favorite cards. This one's really pretty. I like how the artwork has a very has a very like stylized stylized kind of style. It's cute. <laughs> okay, have we done these ones yet? I don't think so. I hope I'm not going too fast, but I I guess I'm just sort of anxious to get to the reading part. <laughs> Cuz I can't wait to read with this deck. This is one of the cards that came up in the weekly reading. The Magician, Hanged Man, I think that one came up too. Eight of Cups. I can't tell if I've done these ones yet or not. I don't think I have. The Tower. Okay, I remember that one. All right, so let's give this deck a bit of a shuffle here. You'll see how, how spazzy I am at shuffling. All right. So they're a little trickier to shuffle just because the cards are a little bit bigger, but I have really little hands, I think. Okay. Okay, let me just get my other plant pot here. So I think what I want to do for this, 
this read is I want to interview this deck and I'm going to ask this deck um, if there's any particular life area or topic or theme that this deck loves to read on. All right. So what topic do you like to read on? Ooh, King of Wands. Interesting. So I quite often associate, I'll just zoom in a little here. I quite often associate the King of Wands with career and being able to really tap into your passions, what you're passionate about, and really tap into your kind of creativity and your, you know, your dharma, your what you came here to do, the work that you want to do in the world and be able to make it happen. That's kind of what I associate the King of Wands with. So I feel like this deck, uh, my deck anyway, now if you have this same deck and you ask it this question, I can guarantee you're going to get a different card. But for my deck, it seems like this deck is about, uh, will be really good for when I want to ask questions regarding my career uh, and regarding um, creative projects and, and things like that. All right. So let's do... Let's do um, a two card reading. So I'm gonna ask, what message does the Black Cat Tarot have for us today? So no matter when you watch this, this message should apply to you in some way. What do you need to know today? What message does this card have for us? All right, so let's start with this card. So we've got Ace of Pentacles, and we don't know what the other card is yet. All right. So I love Ace of Pentacles, and I love how um, there's like a cat holding up a, a trophy, uh, a cup. Um, okay, what is the message here? Oh, this is interesting. There's a lot of symbolism going on here. I'm drawn to the the black cat and then the yellow cat on each side. And then, of course, the trophy with the pentacle um, is interesting. I do feel like the an ace has to do with new beginnings and fresh starts. So I'm kind of gravitating towards that. But I feel like there's more to it. It's like... It's like there's a lot of potential and possibility with this card. That that cup is really calling to me. And I feel like um, the cup and the pentacle have to do with like getting a trophy. And I'm going to say the message that I'm getting with this card is that new projects and maybe even ideas that you've had for projects right around this time have a really strong potential to be successful and to be something that will bring you a lot of joy and success and something that you can really be proud of. Um, let's have a look at the other card. Here we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles and Page of Wands. So what's interesting is the Ace can symbolize new beginnings. And the page is the youngest of the court card family. We've got page, knight, queen, and king. And I often see the pages as being like the children or like the students of that particular suit. So there is this young, youthful energy with a page, and there's a young, youthful kind of energy with an ace. So I love that we got these two cards. And I think that the sunshine on the, the page of wands here kind of lines up with the, the pentacle in the ace of pentacles. So what message does the page of wands have for us? This is about not being afraid of learning. And whenever you're learning something new, and I think th coming back to the ace of pentacles, this could apply to like starting a project that you've had an idea for. Whenever you're learning something new or starting a new project, you want to give yourself permission to be bad at it. Give yourself permission to make mistakes and not be very good because that's kind of how you learn. So don't avoid 
learning something or trying something because you think you're going to be bad at it or you think you might mess it up. Um, the Page of Wands is here to say it's all a learning experience and definitely give yourself permission to be bad at something because that's the only way that you're ever going to get good at something. Okay, so comparing these two cards together, seeing if there's... Oh, I, I again, the sunshine and the pentacle. To me, the pentacle means like potential for success. The sunshine, I feel, kind of reiterates that message in a way. Let's draw one last card to, to finish this reading off. Okay, what message does the Black Cat Tarot want us to walk away with today? Three of Cups. Oh, yeah, that's so positive. I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's zoom in a little here. All right, Three of Cups. Three of Cups is all about celebration and joy and laughter and friendship, coming together to celebrate something. It's about experiencing the lighter side of life, the joyful side of life. And I think it's a reminder to, to ask yourself, how can I bring some of this joy, this laughter, this lightness into my life today? What's one thing that I can do to, to cultivate this kind of joy and this kind of celebration? Is there something I can celebrate today? Can I do a little mini celebration, even if it's just putting on some music and dancing for five minutes or something like that? Um, but there is this theme of friendship and chitter chatter and maybe not just celebrating on your own, but celebrating with someone else or, or multiple people. Um, so again, I think the message is about reaching out either to friends, family, or or people in your vicinity and for a little bit of chit-chat and, and socializing and that kind of a thing. Um, yeah, really beautiful card. All right, so um, that has been my unboxing and exploration of the Black Cat Tarot. And uh, if you're interested in finding out more about this deck or purchasing this deck, I will put um, the links to do that uh, just below this video. So in the description box below this video. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Kate. You can check out my website dailytarotgirl.com to learn about tarot card reading. I've got lots of fun tarot resource, tarot learning resources on there for you, tarot card spreads, tarot meanings. It's all on there. So I'll put the link to my site below and thank you so much for watching.